Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Chuck Holmes. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to pick the right home business. I want to cover some key points and give you three questions you should ask yourself before you join or start any business. As a quick disclaimer, individual results will vary. This is just my opinion and this information is for educational purposes only. Entrepreneurship is a different beast than having a job. Not everyone who has a job is cut out for being an entrepreneur. Not everyone who's an entrepreneur is cut out to have a job. You have to ultimately find a way to make money that aligns with you. However, if you make the decision that you want to start a business, there are some considerations that you should take into account before you jump right into anything. The first thing is your passion and your skills. What are you passionate about? What type of skills do you have? And what type of business would they be the best fit for? For example, are you interpersonal? Are you social and outgoing? Or are you more introverted like I am and like to be at home and quiet? The next thing you want to consider is your values. In other words, what industry aligns with your values? If you're religious, as an example, maybe you're a Christian, what type of businesses do or don't align with your values? Only you can answer that question, but it's definitely something you want to take into account. Number three is the startup cost in your budget. Some businesses, home businesses even, are tens of thousands of dollars to start. Others are free. What type of startup capital do you have and how much money do you have saved in the bank so that you can pursue your business venture if you decide to do it full time? The next thing is market demand. I personally believe it's a lot easier to sell a product or service that people are already buying than it is to go out and create a new product or service that no one is buying. But what type of market demand is there for the product or service or industry that you're thinking about? Is there a good demand in your area? Or if you're trying to do the business online globally, is there a good demand for your product or service or business? The next thing is your time commitment. Is this something you're looking to do part-time? Is this something you're looking to do sometime? Is it something you're looking to do full-time? Only you can answer that question. But some businesses require you to get done your job and work the business full-time right from day one. That's great if you have capital, if you have some money put away, but if money's tight and you can't afford to quit your job, you want to kind of experiment with the business to see how it works, you need something that's a little bit more flexible. The next thing you want to evaluate is profit potential. What type of potential is there to make a profit? How long will it take you to break even in your business? Most businesses, it can be two or three or four years before they even break even from their initial investment. Of course, the less amount of money you have invested in your business to start, the easier it is and the faster it is to break even. And the next thing is your risk level. How averse are you to risk? Are you willing to take big risk? Are you willing to potentially lose tens of thousands of dollars? Are you willing to lose thousands of hours of your time? Only you can answer that, but what type of risk are you willing to take financially and time-wise? In a nutshell, though, there are really three questions that I believe you should answer that will help you pick the right business for you. And the good news is there is a business out there that will fit your needs. You might have to look for a while, but you can find something. But here are the three questions, at least as I see it. Number one, is entrepreneurship your best option or would you be better off as an employee? Not everyone is cut out to be an entrepreneur. Not everyone's cut out to be an employee. Be honest with yourself with this question. Can you handle being your own boss? Do you have the self-discipline to manage your time effectively? Or would you be better off with a steady paycheck, a boss telling you what to do, what have you? But is entrepreneurship the best way to get where you want to go? It is for some people. It's not for other people. It's going to be, it's going to vary from person to person. Number two, is there a legitimate need in the marketplace for your product or service? People fall in love with a product, which in my opinion is a big mistake. You should instead fall in love with the group of people that you're going to sell it to or the process that you're going to use to sell that product. But is there a legitimate need for what you're thinking about selling in the marketplace? Are people already forking over their hard-earned dollars that they have to buy similar products or services that you're thinking about promoting? Or are you trying to create a new niche, a new spending habit from scratch? I think that will be a much tougher approach than finding a product or service that's already being sold, but that's up to you. And finally, number three, are you passionate about the product, the niche, the industry, the business? 
Because here's the truth. In the early stages of a business, when you're not making a lot of money, passion is going to be what gets you through that. If you're not passionate about the niche or the people that you're selling your product to or the industry, you're probably going to quit and throw in the towel when times get tough. And when you're starting a new business of any kind, times are always going to be tough. So this is my best advice on how to pick the right home business for you. If you'd like more tips on this topic, check out my website, charlesholmes.net. We have all kinds of free resources you can use to grow your business. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you on the other side.